Hello dears, this session is dedicated to NCERT discussion of the very fundamental mole concept. As I say very often, mole is the gateway to all physical chemistry chapters. If you have this chapter correct, you have every chapter a possibility. What does that mean? It means that there is a possibility that you would be able to master all the remaining chapters of physical chemistry, but if you mess up with this chapter, if you are lethargic, if, if you have not practiced well, then my dears, in general, every chapter of physical chemistry, you would find problem solving very, very difficult. You might enjoy the theory teaching by the teacher, but one, uh, when you start solving problems on your own, without a good mastery and mole concept, you will find it always difficult. In order to make sure that you don't face this difficulty, there I am presenting to you the solutions to NCERT chemistry of uh, standard 11th and unit 1, some basic concepts of chemistry. Let's begin. Without wasting time, let's take a look at the first question. Calculate the molar mass of the following. Well, what is molar mass? Molar mass means mass of one mole. And if you have molecules, mass of one mole of molecules. How do we do? We add molar masses of atoms so that we get molar masses of molecules. That's very simple. So H2O. Now H2O has one hydrogen and two oxygens. No, sorry. What does H2O mean? It is not one hydrogen, two oxygens. It is two hydrogens and if nothing is written, it is understood as one. Like in mathematics, in algebra, you, if you have one x, you just say x, you don't write down one. In the same fashion in chemistry, while writing a chemical formula, a formula indicates how many atoms of which element are present. So if hydrogen element, two atoms are present in a molecule, we write H2, oxygen, only one, we just write O, we don't write one, we eat away that one. It is understood, if nothing is written, at least one atom has to be there. Now, atomic mass of hydrogen is one. And there are two atoms of hydrogens. Atomic mass of oxygen is 16. And there is one atom. If we just add up, you get how much? 18 grams per mole. This is the molar mass. Oh my God. How do you get that unit? One also. If you just solve it more with units, one gram per mole is atomic mass of hydrogen. And there are two hydrogen atoms. So total, so much. Oxygen, 16 grams per mole of oxygen atoms into one. If you add up, you have 18 grams per mole of water molecule. This is molar mass of water. What about CO2? Please don't forget the units, correct units you must write. CO2. Carbon is 12 grams per mole. And there is one atom of carbon. If you look at CO2, it is C1O2. You have one atom. You have two atoms of oxygen. One atom is 16 grams per mole. And you have two. If you just add up, you get 44 grams per mole. Wow. This is molar mass of carbon dioxide. Yes, indeed. Hmm. What about methane? Lovely. 12 grams per mole of carbon into one plus 1 grams per mole of hydrogen into 4. That makes it 16 grams per mole. This is the molar mass of methane. Simple, isn't it?